Hi, and welcome to Pimp My PEV. And this is the most pimped out Gotway monster I've ever seen. Let me tell you more about it. All right, guys, so believe it or not, but this is actually the monster, 100 volt, 1845 uh, watt hours, that I was testing before on the channel. So if you want to see a performance test of it, just, you know, click the link here. And this is Artem's. Hello. <laughs> Artem's monster. And what he has done to this is absolutely amazing. Let me just guide you through the details or like overview of this thing, but, you know, just looking at it, like, this this looks out of this world i mean the monster already is um quite an eye catcher but with the you know white fiberglass shell this looks pretty pretty spectacular so from from the things i can see uh, now uh, you have the mono customized pads uh, right here for the monster And there is, uh, of course, the Nilonova uh, foot plates, which, you know, I highly recommend. And there's a lot more. The monster does come with a inherent flaw, which is there is no trolley handle. So what you do if you don't have a trolley handle, you build it. And this is the trolley handle. Um, where is it from once again? It's from Russia, from the guy who is uh, named uh, Denis. Uh, thank you, Denis, for the trolley handle. Yes, he, he just built, uh, let's say, the best, uh, the best trolley handle which I ever used on the EUC. And uh, I wish that uh, Godway will be using such experiences <laughs> yeah. in their wheels. Yeah, that'd be nice. Because not only is this uh, trolley handle in the right height, it also locks in place. Wait, just boom. And you put it in and it has a satisfying click. And you open it, it also has a click. So I think if it, you were to fall uh, on such a unicycle, this thing wouldn't open like, for example, the Gotway Nikola um, trolley handle. So looking at the fiberglass shell, I, I mean, I'll, I'll talk about it a bit later, but you can see that the uh, USB port is actually hidden here. And there is also a 3D printed seal underneath the fiberglass shell to not let water power in into the electric unicycle. And all in all, a overall theme of this EUC is that a lot of stuff is homemade, 3D printed yes. and designed by, by Artem, which is amazing. So. The reason for the USB port uh, being covered is, come on, who uses that for charging? <laughs> and uh, this port is actually used for the LEDs, which are mounted here. And Artem goes even to that extent that he printed this side here to uh, not let the, the uh, LED panels um, just uh, get out. He tried to put them here, here, but this a solution is the best and and the uh, LED panels or LED strips go fully around the wheel and they're also controlled via an app. Can we see the the app? So here here you have the app which is called uh, LED Hue. You have about uh, 100 of uh, sets of different uh, let's say settings. Let's say I think everybody can find uh, the most suitable regime. 
switch off the LEDs, uh, let's say I have uh, them powered on every time I switch on the wheel because they are uh, directly powered from the USB port. Uh, and you can switch them off anytime uh, if even the wheel is on uh, from the app. So let's say I want to switch them off and switch on back. And you can uh, also set up the shine, the power of shine, let's say. Okay, it brighter. brightness, yeah. Back maximum brightness. Oh wow, that's that's bright. I mean, the the stock Gotway uh, LEDs, like even in the Nikola, they're like really dim compared to that. I mean, just let me put the on the side. Boom. And I'm actually, <laughs> my LEDs are actually turned on. <laughs> so <laughs> compare this to that. Different settings on mine, wait. Yeah, that's full brightness on mine and that's full brightness on these LEDs. And uh, can you turn them on for a sec? I mean off? They actually don't look bad if they're off because there is a, actually a um, like a invisible seal or whatever on them and it's not like they're just you know floating around with the diodes. That's, that's pretty nice. Okay, so can you show some more uh, presets? Okay. Police? Police? setting yeah. <laughs> and believe me if you would stand where I'm standing it's really like comes right into your eye like that's intense the speed of let's say of movement of lead with the up you can make it maximum slow like like it is now mm -hmm. or you can make it super fast oh wow yeah that's even epilepsy yeah <laughs> invisible for the human's eye yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can even put uh, some your custom colors uh, let's say uh, from the set uh, which you have mm -hmm. rgb uh, and you can save it as your own preset. That's pretty flexible, let's say, in terms of... Uh, and generally, in, uh, in, at night, it's super visible. If it's, uh, let's say, now, uh, now it's more or less, uh, you just can see that something is shining. Mm -hmm. But at night, you're like a freaking rainbow. <laughs> a freaking rainbow. <laughs> which is good, because, uh, because driving at night uh, on the UC, which has uh, no any side, let's say, uh, lights, it's, yeah. uh, it's very useful to be bright and to be visible to, to the drivers, let's say. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, my uh, MSS has really shitty lighting, so that's why I also have reflective stuff on my, on my backpack. Here you don't need it, like, I mean, if it's so visible here, how visible is it at night? It might, might be ridiculous. When I met my, uh, one of my friends on the uh, UC at night, uh, he said that he uh, has managed to to let's say to to capture me uh, about in 500 meters oh that I'm God. riding he oh. said oh my it's hard to <laughs> hard not to see you Artem <laughs> <laughs> okay so moving on from uh, the uh, LED RGBs let's talk a bit about the fiberglass shell you can see here and actually Artem made it himself <laughs> he came back from uh, uh, was it a business trip or vacation uh, it was private trip let's Pri say. private trip <laughs> and he had to go uh, he went back to Poland and he had to be on quarantine as you know all people that come back uh, from a trip I guess anyhow he had a lot of time <laughs> a lot of spare time and he made the fiberglass shell himself so it's actually like around four or five sheets of uh, these fiberglass uh, mats or I don't know how they're called mm -hmm. sheets and uh, they're glued together with ep epoxy. So he actually put um, a foil or some preventive stuff around the um, shell of the monster. And then layer by layer, he was gluing one uh, fiberglass sheet to, to the other. And afterwards, he had to cut all the stuff that is like uh, too much. So here we have a cut here, here, and around here. And there's actually also a bit of um, rubber outside. <laughs> for I don't know for for the seal or for the edges to be not so rough, right? Yes, exactly. Not because rough edges. edges are not perfect. Got and, you. Uh, 
and on the on the let's say rear rear light also a bit of rubber yeah yeah uh, in order to hide <laughs> in order ah, this to, one yes in order to hide a bit uh, let's say uh, yes not, not, not the perfect uh, shapes of the of the shell because it's uh, uh, roughly handmade without uh, some machines yeah. and uh, and uh, without sending machines at all and I was kind of trying to do some something uh, similar to Tesla Tesla logo but of mm. course it's far from it <laughs> but let's say it's kind of a try attempt now what you t when you tell me about it yeah it's it's, it's getting there anyhow you have the regular monster light and there are also additional lights on the side which were the the rear lighting um i mean the lighting on the side here because there's like the monster logo here yes. so that that's no longer here and the lights were put here so there's just a bit more lighting on the monster which doesn't have like a really good uh, rear light moving on here we have a mud guard which is also interesting. I mean, every flaw of the monster basically <laughs> has been uh, solved by Artem here. So this is a regular mudguard, but it also has Velcro here, like the 3M double-sided tape and a aluminum, aluminum reinforcement here, like you would see, for example, on a Xiaomi M365 Pro. <laughs> and uh, you just connected here and if you were to fall like my 3d printed um, uh, mudguard would probably yeah it would break because I this is already my third one <laughs> actually <laughs> and this one would just probably just bend or yeah it's it's way more you know better if you fall from the unicycle also uh, it's made this way let's say uh, it's very easy to to take it off from mm -hmm. the wheel if you let's say if you don't need it if it's super hot summer without any rains you just uh, you can put it off very very quickly mm -hmm. uh, it's like two minutes job and uh, the same you can put it uh, put it on back uh, very quick if you need it so at any time so it's like a kind of solution which uh, a lot of people are searching because uh, because they don't like how wheel looks with uh, the mud guard, but at the same time they don't want to get their back uh, with uh, with dirt. Here, usually uh, this would be a um, panel that is see-through, like the Nikola, like black see-through glass. I mean plexi or whatever it is. But now it's painted, uh, just uh, I think to be more robust. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the, the plastic panels, they also scratch really fast. Yes, yes the monster monster uh, side panels are super scratchy. Yeah. At first they look super nice because uh, they are like uh, like kind of glass view and, and you can uh, see through it, uh, let's say, inside of the wheel. But at the same time, uh, especially at these uh, places where you put your leg and where you can, let's say, uh, touch touch the panel, it got scratched uh, for me pretty fast and I, let's say I'm not the worst user of, uh, <laughs> of, of Unicycle. You are really so careful. I'm, try I'm trying to be careful at least. Yeah. So I decided uh, to, let's say, to hide those scratches. Easier to paint it with some structured uh, paint. Uh, so so I did it. It's just black. I didn't want to. Maybe in future I will paint it in white because uh, white is a pretty pretty nice color for the monster. Yeah, yeah, true. Especially together with some black uh, black uh, elements like uh, mono customized parts, etc. So who knows? Nice. And here you can right away see there's also a uh, um, base membrane, right? Yes, yes. Passive and membrane. passive membrane. So. The, the speakers here sound better and the speakers are also exchanged here for bigger ones and you can take a listen now all right speaker test here is uh, the um, microphone right now so first uh, let's try the monster Okay, that that was rather loud. <laughs> so now compared to the MSP uh, speakers or MSS. Oh my God, that's, that's a joke. For real? So right now I'm trying to talk next to the like. What is this toy? Oh 
Oh my god, I'm embarrassed now. They have such a So yeah, German speakers, hey. yeah. Hey, hey. You need German speakers in your monster. <laughs> Can you make it once more, please? Okay, sure. Broadway. <laughs> That's so loud. Thanks for for the demonstration. That was that was a great idea. So this is here, and it's also you know. Is this open or is it just? Uh... Yeah, it's open. You you can see the membrane. Uh, that's why I put this, let's say, uh, protection because mm -hmm. uh, you can, let's say, uh, uh, you can damage it with damage your it, leg yeah. or, or what's, uh, let's say, with uh, some uh, some other some sticks or whatever, which happens mm -hmm. on the wheel. So I just decided to cover it, and uh, the sound, this, uh, the quality of sound is not changed. So we just. Uh, Let's say this is normal normal practice for such kind of devices. Hello. <laughs> uh, yes, and speakers are exchanged for some uh, some uh, available on uh, local uh, Polish market uh, German speakers, uh, which are actually pretty nice because uh, when I when I let's say disassemble the monster inside, the the speakers were were let's say not far from the best uh, which can be put so I just exchanged them to the better quality and uh, in order to use let's say the uh, the pressure which is uh, created from the from the work of uh, the uh, two speakers two main speakers I decided to prolong the uh, the speaker box uh, till the uh, side panel and just to just to cut the hole for the for the bus membrane to use, to gotcha. use this uh, power, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with the birds? I feel here? like some princess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the birds are just yes. coming so hard. <laughs> It's a very nice park, by the way. Park, Skar park Skaryszewski in, in Warsaw. Um, the the squirrels here are also coming to. Uh, oh, okay. No. <laughs> the squirrels are also coming here to you to you know get some nuts. So yeah, this is that. I also wanted to like shine inside to see if there's anything visible. And fair enough, I guess it's not that visible, but I see that th something is there. So, you know, we got that. Inside of the speaker, there's also a 3D printed, uh, or above the speaker, it's a 3D printed uh, honeycomb design just to make the housing around the um, speaker just more robust and durable, right? The tire is a stock monster tire, but there's also some tire paint on it, which is also reflective, I believe. Uh, no, 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 just white. This is a regular white okay, re paint. Regular white rubber. paint. Okay, and at the front, we can see the wrong light. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had it on my MSS2, but in my case, uh, the, the light was just a bit, uh, this cover here was covering my uh, beam too much. But on a monster, it's perfect. Actually, you can see that it covers like half of uh, the the front twin LEDs. Which, by the way, if you don't have it, you will get a lot of complaints from ongoing uh, foot or you know rideable traffic. So if I just turn on the light, you can see n no uh, blinding now. Blinding now. Dim, dim. So this is you know another flaw that has been fixed uh, by Artem on his uh, monster. Did I miss anything? Uh, I guess I guess the soul. Let's let's mainly let's say those are improvements which are uh, 
I think should be standard for the every Godway monster uh, user. The pads, the foot plates, the lights, of course, to rise it uh, normally, and the handlebar, of course, the rear mudguard. So yeah, this has been the most modded monster I've ever seen, most awesome monster. And if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Jezus, co? Sorki. No, 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 no,